Hey everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video. Anyways, um, <clears throat> pardon me, I hope you all had a great Martin Luther King Day. Uh, real quick, one of my subscribers shares his birthday with Dr. King. Anyways, and that is Johnny Palma. Happy birthday to you, Johnny. I hope you had a great day. Um, uh, you said when I went ahead and, and said that to you in a comment on the last video, you went ahead and you said you got in a good shave. You know, that's a great way to start the day out every time. Um, I've got a couple of days growth. And today, or tonight, we're going to be using another razor, which I just got. And it is my solid stainless steel is the second stainless steel I got uh, my girlfriend's best friends like I said before they're like sisters to her their whole family is kind of her extended family they've kind of adopted me as part of the family so the sisters was gonna go ahead and get me a couple of soaps a couple of aftershaves but instead they got me an all stainless steel razor and it was this little beauty right here this is the razor rock Mamba. It's a new razor. Um, real nice weight to it. It's like three, three point something. I think three point five ounces. The handle is really cool because it's a nice fat handle. It's got these grooves cut out going all the way down, way down. Um, here at the bottom, it's got this little bit of knurling band going around here, and it's actually flat on the bottom, so you could actually stand the razor up. Um, let's see if it'll work. Nope, <laughs> with the head on it, not so much, but um, I stood the handle up earlier. But anyways, it's just a really cool razor, and it's got a real nice head design. By the way, this razor is 316L stainless steel. From what I understand, Razor Rock now, or Italian Barber, now has their own CNC machine. They dropped like half a million bucks on it in the spring of last year, or more than a half a million bucks in the spring of last year. So I look for them to be making uh, quite a bit more stainless steel stuff. Um, this is to the same tolerance if you followed the Wonder Bar razor. This is machined to the exact same tolerances as the Wonder Bar. And the head, let me take it apart here, the head's really cool because normally your tabs that your blades go on is on either side of your threaded post on your cap. But as you can see, they're not there. Let's see. As you can see, they're not there. It's just two holes, two round holes. Because if you look, the post or the tab, the the tabs that the blade sets on is here on the um, base plate, and the comb has this really nice cutout here. I have shaved with this once so far, and it went through five, six days growth. So. Let's go ahead and let's load it up with a blade. The blade, and I've only used that one once. The blade is one I've never used before, and I got it from Carl Keeper um, when he sent me a Chevette here recently. He sent me some Dorco, or not Dorco, Darby extra half blades and some Permasharp half blades for the Chevette, and he also sent me a whole pack of these here, I don't know if I'm holding it up right, Wilkinson Sword Blades. So this is the first time I've ever used an actual, well I've used the Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blades. So this is a new blade for me. So this is its first use. Let me put it on the tabs here. Because there's another nice feature about this, about this razor. As you can see it goes over the tabs and if you look, it comes up even right with the edge of the um, blade pretty much I mean the plate base plate or the head so you don't have that hangover like you do you know most other safety razors so let me go ahead and put this cap on now I also said in the description of this razor there on Italian Barber that the way it's designed, it has a little bit of a, 
element of adjustability and I figured that out real quick. Now as I'm screwing the handle down it starts to snug right there. Well gives you a little bit more blade gap. Now if you hold it here let me snug it down a little. If you hold it here with your hands you can turn it more to snug it down more. So you can go ahead and you can kind of adjust your blade gap a little bit that way. Um, so, which is kind of cool. But anyways, the, my girlfriend, she looked at it and she said that, you know, it looked even all the way across on each side. And as you can see, there's no gap here up top. There's no opening, you know, in the head. It's just, I mean just goes together. So that's the razor and the blade. The brush is going to be one that I really don't use often and it's a bar and it is this one. It's uh, as far as I know it's an old Vanderhagen and it's got this kind of green bulbous handle and the knot's not in the prettiest condition. It's got, it's, you know, it's kind of beat up a little bit. But this was my girlfriend's stepdad's or, or grandfather's. I can't, she can't remember which. The soap is a sample. And it's from K Shave Works. Mm, and it's Bumble Nuts. <laughs> I like the sound of that. The, the scent. I like it. It's not in your face. And by the way, the firmness is a little, it's, it's, it's not hard, hard, but it's, it's firm. You know, it's not real soft. And uh, it's just got a real nice, just a nice, pleasant scent. I ended up getting that one. Um, it's dropping bourbon and not your mother's lavender. So let me take a sip, drink out of my sippy cup here. So anyways, that's that. And I went ahead and I scooped some of the soap out and put it into my Castle Forbes, empty Castle Forbes tub. So let's go ahead, let's get lathering. As you can see I smeared some around in there. If you've never really dealt with a sample before, Get a coffee mug, an old empty soap container, a shaving bowl, whatever. Something that you can just, you know, lather up in. And take some out and go ahead and smear it around the bottom of your bowl or whatever. And uh, the scent starts to come out some when you start working it, when you start, you know, Introduce water to it and start working it. Knock off that proto lather, as some call it. Yeah, that's a good heavy load right there. That's a really good heavy load. So, let me wet my face. Now I don't have a lot of K-shape work soaps. I just have Hump Day and now I've got these samples. But uh K-shape works is I've never ever heard anybody complain about the performance. But from what I understand, uh, 
when the Doherty's were starting to add a little bit of water, starting to get into, you know, trying to make a go at this um, soaping business, they kind of picked brains of the Siebert family, or the Sieberts, and uh, the Sieberts gave them some good pointers. And if you don't know who the Sieberts or Cyberts are, they're the family that runs the Silk Commander business. So, okay, that's nice lather right there. Now I'm gonna get my hands off. No need to clear the runways, as Geo Fatboy would say, because I shave my head. <laughs> so, all right. Second shave. And when I used this Mamba before, I was using a blade that was on its pretty much its final shave. So we'll see how it does. Let me wait the. And this handle's just a really nice handle to hold. So there we go. It's a very smooth razor. It's a little mild. So you know I've seen some guys, but I mean it's taking it down real nice. I remember correctly, I saw a few guys putting theirs, their mambas up for sale on the Facebook BST, one of the Facebook BST pages. And that just took it right, right, right down. The residual slickness from the K-shape works. It's doing well. The bumble nuts is doing great. CDB has been trying out that, I guess Joe calls it his game changer head. So CDB was trying that for a few days and he sent it on, I guess it's sending it on to another YouTuber or what shaver. Uh, and he said, he liked the aggression of it. A little more than this one. So, but, I really do like the aggression of this one. So oh, here we go. Oh, I already did mine. Let's show you. That was a great first pass. Let's get a little water on my face. Picked up uh, another subscriber, so now I'm up to. 45 and um, you know if you've seen me give other subscribers shout outs and you haven't seen me give you a shout out um, it's not that I chose not to it's just that 
I don't know you're a subscriber. Um, if you're um, subscriptions are set to private, then I won't know. Um, because when they're set to public, and you subscribe to me, and I get notified. And, uh, unless there is a couple of guys like Chris Morley and Nevim who has subscribed to me and um, their subscriptions are set to private, but um, I get, you know, they communicate with me, comment it, and all that, and I found out they were subscribers, and I was like, alright, I'm giving you a shout out. Cross the grain. It's going right through the whiskers. No problem with the angle there. Um, like in the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, last video with the starling. And the starling, it's a good razor. It's just for whatever reason. I didn't quite hit it. The angle is. At least not on my face. But my head? Oh yeah, I pegged. I pegged the angle on that one. Anyways. My girlfriend, she's doing better. Um, but I'm sick. My son. He's getting better, but he has his moments of crankiness, which I'll blame him on when he's sick. So. So last night I stayed up with them and two something, somewhere around in there. And uh, oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Um, so we gave them some cold medicine and for children and. Uh, honey based little kids cough syrup and, uh, and that seemed to do the trick um, he was finally able to go to sleep and he was down till I don't know but he was you know went down on the couch and Finally, when I figured, okay, 
I can move them. Plus, I was editing up the video of me shaving with a starling, so. Um, yeah. That's cool. He finally, I finally picked him up, put him to bed, and my girlfriend let me sleep in and got me up at like noon, so. Because uh, I was just so tired. But I got up, and, you know, my son seems like he's getting over it. He still has his moments, but for the most part, I think he's past the worst part of it, so. Going against the grain. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. like this mamba. Definitely, definitely a really, really nice razor. I Me, mean, yeah, it's not a timeless or an above the tie, but I wouldn't want an above the tie anyways, and it's not saying anything bad about the company. Um, it's just, from what I understand, it's got like small pins for the blade to set down on. And you got to kind of work a little bit with the alignment. And when you're blind, that's not the best option. So, um, Stan of Above the Tie, if you ever see this video, maybe you might want to think about making your, your pins that the blades drop over a little bit bigger. Because there are those of us who cannot see or have a hard time seeing, who do, who do like this style of shaving. And that's the one thing that might keep somebody away from them. If they're blind. Because the last thing I want is to nail myself with an uneven blade. That could hurt. Oh. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off real good, and then we'll step there and see if I need any any other spots taken care of. See you in a minute. Face pretty pretty good. You know what? I'm perfectly happy with that. Um. Oh wait, this little no. Missed a couple little spots of soap, so give me another second here and let me finish rinsing this off properly. And be back for the yellow. 
All right, so take the alum. We'll see how that did. So, yeah, not bad, not bad on the face at all. Um, the aggression, not bad, not bad. Um, I like it. I like the razor. Um, it's mild, but and, you know, nice mild. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off my face, and when I come back. Uh, we'll do the post. See y'all shortly. You know what? Guys, that... You know, I've got a couple little spots where I break out, kind of break out a little bit after a shave. But that's normal. Um, but that was a great shave. Uh, face, BBS. Neck, BBS. Head, BBS. It's a great head shaver. Um, just a little up bit on the top of my crown area, so... Hang on, guys. I always miss at least one spot. Anyway, so... Okay. Anyways, um, great razor. Um, the aggression's nice. At least I, I think it's nice. Um, you know, kind of a middle of the road aggression, you know. Um, that Wilkinson sword blade, first time I ever used it, like it. Um, I'm gonna have to definitely get more. Uh, the soap, K Shave Works. What can I say? Um, K Shave Works always makes a great lather. Uh, plenty of residual slickness, cushion, glide, everything you want in a soap. Um, if you want to pick a good K Shave Works, just pick a scent. Uh, so, you know, K Shave Works did great. Um, the brush, you know, it's old boar hair kind of beat up, but it, it did fine. Um, you know, it's kind of got some sentimental attachment from a girlfriend, so, but it did fine. Everything just worked out well. I'm really happy with the way everything came together, and I'm really happy with the shape. So, let's go ahead and let's move on to the post. Dickinson Witch Hazel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that Starling again. Since I realized that uh, there's an issue with the angle I was holding it at, so I can hardly wait to do that. So I'll do that video here soon. Post shave, Nivea, some Nivea, Nivea post shave bomb. Yeah, my, uh, my son, he was really, really burning up. If you got kids, and they come down with the flu, and they're burning up. Now I had a, I've got a bar of that, that pineapple chill that I got from Dennis. And, um, you know, it's got menthol in it. So, gave my son a bath. And of course, you know, telling them, hey, you're going to go ahead and I'm going to so I'm going to wash you up with one of my soaps. He got excited about that because he just, I mean, you know, three year old, when a three year old tells you, hey, one day I want, you know, when he tells you that he wants his own shaved in, you know, he likes the stuff that that's, you know, he likes that type of stuff. But anyway, so he got excited over that, so I went ahead and 
took and uh, gave them a bath and washed them down with that with that pineapple chill and you know it, it cooled them down you know he he said he felt better afterwards you know it kind of cooled his skin too so with that menthol so I didn't leave it on for too long because you know three-year-old skin is a little bit more sensitive than my 40 eight year old butt so um but you know uh, he liked it now the po the aftershave and last time i called it poche wine pulled out that that vintage avon is adidas and i kind of nailed myself up here in two spots got a little the angle, I got the angle off a little bit, which happens sometimes when you're shaving your head, you know, that happens. Or even your face, you can lose your angle if you're not paying close enough attention. But, oh yeah, on the head, it just, just went right through, right through the whiskers, man. Went right through that stubble. So, I know I'm going to probably do a hoo-ha-ha -ha here in a second. Oh yeah, that's quite a bit I put in my hand. Oh yeah, 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 woohoo, oh god, oh, oh, that lit me up, woohoo, oh yeah, glutton for punishment I am, I am, not too bad on the face, but, oh, yeah, up here on the head. <laughs> I think the top went numb. No. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, yeah, so that was fun. Uh, anyways. Yeah, this Adidas has a pretty high level of alcohol in it. And it knows you when you're expecting it. But when you're not expecting it. Remember that, Christian? When you're not expecting it, it lights your ass up. So, if you're into aftershapes that bites, and you want one you can pick up in the store, and you want it to, you want to get one that's going to bite, get the Adidas brand. And it'll bite you. I mean, it will bite you, especially if you go ahead and if you, you know, get yourself um, like I did. Anyways, um, but yeah, anyways guys, that's the shave. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I'll get this here posted here in a couple of days. I'm going to give two, three days break. You know, I just uploaded the, the Starling one today. So I'm going to give it a couple of days and, uh, get it uploaded. Anyways, I hope y'all, um, take it easy. Have a great, have some Great days, great shaves, likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. I will always try and respond to any comments. And uh, I'll at least give it a like or a love if it's a, or a heart if it's a really awesome comment, you know. Um, but most, most of the comments that you guys put on my videos are. So, um, and if you ever need to get in touch with me via email for any anything related to shaving, blindness or just anything at all all over case no spaces just lamps59 at gmail.com anyways y'all take it easy and i'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade bye bye now